When April Blankenship had to drop her baby out of the window of her burning home, she felt lucky that everyone got out alive. Yeah, others who had been in similar fires knew the challenges the family would face in the months ahead. Nine News reporter Scott Wegener shows us how an exclusive group of survivors came to their aid. This is Derek. He's eight months old, eight and a half now, and this is April. Kelly King, April Blankenship, and little Derek are members of a very exclusive club. He got burnt on his right arm. It's an association no one chooses to be a part of. Two weeks ago, bad wiring sent their Edison Avenue home in Hamilton up in flames. Kelly wasn't here at the time, but April and Derek barely made it out alive. They were in the kitchen, and they had to... Uh though my little boy out the window and the Hampton firefighters called him. No one was seriously hurt, but everything they owned was turned to ash. I know how it feels. Andrea Hernandez has paid her dues to that same horrendous club. I was involved in a fire at the end of August 2010. We lost everything. When she heard about King's family, she and her son Austin knew what had to be done. They brought blankets, clothes, a crib, even toys to King's grandmother's house in New Miami, where the family is staying. There is no words to describe it. Unless you've walked in our shoes, you can't really understand the feeling, but except you know you've lost what you had and you just have to worry what's going to happen for the next minute and how you're going to be able to survive. I just want to say thank you so much. The common angst of these two families brought relief beyond words. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have nothing. Today, one benefit of membership in this unwanted fraternity is having a shoulder to lean on. If anything else that you guys will need, you know, that you guys keep some kind of contact and tell us so that we can try to help you guys. Scott Wegener, 9 News. And the articles Hernandez passed on to King's family had been donated during her time of need from members in the community. She says it was simply her duty to pay it forward. Very heartwarming and touching story. It absolutely.